Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Right, I'm on again with you to do my autumn uh, folios um, from 12 by 12s. Um, so this is the last one I'll be doing for now. Um, the one before this was absolutely atrocious. Uh, so yeah, this one is so much easier. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's got a little flap here. It's got a pocket here. And you open it up. I've also made a little notebook for this one as well. So they're all basically the same. Yeah, being stapled and yeah, lovely. And I've used um, the Gorgeous Girls for this because it was in my scrap folder. Um, so yeah, we have this. So not as many pockets, so there's a little one here and then we have this big one here. I, I don't think I should have glued this bit, so on this one I'm not going to glue it. Um, just so it's, because it's a little bit harder to actually get in. Um, so yeah, let me get the measurements for you. So these are the measurements. Um, so it is from a 12 by 12. Um, and this autumn paper um, I got from the range last year and yeah, I'm just using it now. <laughs> uh, so you score at one and three quarters, five and a half and 11 inches. This is all in inches, can't do centimetres. Um, then you turn it and you score at two and then you score at nine and three quarters. So I don't even know if you can see. Uh, I've already scored, but yeah. So it's one and three quarters all the way down to the bottom, five and a half all the way down to the bottom, and 11 all the way down. Then you turn your paper that way. Okay? Um, so you score at two all the way down to the bottom. And you score at nine and three quarters, uh, but I seem to have scored at ten. Why have I scored it at ten? It's supposed to be nine and three quarters. My mistake. Never mind. I've just got a large bit at the top now. <laughs> um, so once you've done that, you need to turn your paper back that way. And yes, I have noticed that my paper is directional, um, but I don't think it matters too much. Um, and it's double sided as well. So, yeah. So after you've scored it this way, so after you've scored your two and nine and three quarters, uh, you turn it back this way. And then we are finished with the scoreboard. Let's put that away. Uh, you need your scissors. So I've shadowed where you need to cut so you need to cut your bottom square you can't see my folds or anything um yeah can't see so you need to the square at the bottom you need to cut off completely um so let's get that cut and i'm cutting on the outside line of my score mark um, just so it's easier to fold so we have that at the bottom okay then you need um, a diagonal so I'm going to use my ruler for this if I can find it what have I done with my ruler what have I done? I've lost my ruler. Uh, where have I put it? Oh, it's right in front of me. Yeah, hiding in plain sight. <laughs> so what I want to do, I don't even know if you can see. What you want to do is from this corner to your uh, second score line, um, you want to mark diagonal just all the way. Um because we are going to cut it off, but I want to make sure that I get it right. So, let me just, yeah, 
just making sure we're all right. So you just want to cut when I can actually start cutting your diagonal all the way. My cutting is atrocious to that score line. Okay. Then on the other side of your um, triangle, this bit here, uh, you're going to do like a little sliver up the top. Um, not too big, just, uh, just enough. So you're left with that and it should look like that when you are done. Right, now on the other side of the paper, there's another square here, very thin one, and you need to cut that off. So like before, I'm cutting on the outside line of my score line. And you want to cut, I can get my scissors in, a little slither like that. So it looks like that. So at the bottom, your paper should look like this. Um, and then now we need to go to the top. So this is where you create your your flap here. Oh, did I knock you then? I'm sorry. Uh, so I'm just going to turn it around so it's facing towards me. Um, I'm going to turn this around so I know where I'm cutting. Um, so you need to cut that you've got a little square here and you've got a long, like an oblong shape here. So you want to cut both of these bits off. So again, on the inside, um, sorry, on the outside of my score line, I'm doing that. Um, no diagonals or anything on this one. And then you want to cut off this bit completely. Like this. If you want to do it with your um, cutter, your paper cutter, you can. Right? Okay, so that is what we've taken off. Right. Now, I've got it upside down. <laughs> so I know I'm not going to go wrong. You have a, a little tiny oblong on this side and you need to cut this off completely. Um, a little bit more down, there we go, so, okay, so that is cut off. Let me turn it back around the right way, so your paper, your 12 by 12, should look like this. If you're crafting along with me, um, awesome, um, you probably need to watch it twice, or you can just go over to the one um to the one i got this um 12 by 12 uh folio design from and she's called sandy and her youtube channel is septaria 18 septaria septaria something like that um but she will be linked below so go and check her out um yeah she's absolutely amazing at these things so this is what we've got. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to fold all of your score lines. Let's use a bone folder. Okay. And it probably looks a little bit confusing at the moment because you've got this bit at the bottom. But like Dawn would say, trust the process. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing. Okay, so you have all your bits folded like that. Then you want to turn it round. So this bit is your front. This bit is your back. And this little triangle bit, you want to fold up to the front like so then you want to turn it back on this side where you've done all your folds and then you want to fold that bit in like 
that. I hope this is not too confusing for you. So you have this that folds in like that. So you should have your triangle bit on the front. And then this is your flap that closes down. I think I need to cut little slithers off the top there um, so it closes. But yeah, that is what you should have, I hope. <laughs> and it looks like that one okay so i need to cut little slithers off um these bits here because they don't seem to be closing properly so i am going to try and cut the tiniest bit and uh, i was just about to say keep it straight it's not going to be straight at all um not the straightest at cutting, but at least I'll be able to close my pocket. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cut this little bit off here. Teeny tiny. There we go. And now it should shut. Oh, that's better. Let's try this one. Oh, much better. Much, much, much better. Lovely. Right, okay, so we are going to start sticking things down. Um, but first, what I want to do is I want to round some of my corners. Um, and I think I'm going to do a medium sized one. Okay, yeah, I like that one. So, yep, just going to round most of my corners, the corners that I can actually round. Let's see if I can round this one. On a little diagonal, eh, a little bit. Um, this one, my pocket, like that, and then my flap at the top. Get in, get in. Thank you. Um, I'm going to do this bit here as well, if I can, because it seems to be getting caught somewhat. Hmm. Do it on the small, no. Do it on the large one? Nah, it won't go in. So I'm going to do it myself. I think you don't have to round any of your corners. Um, but I, I just think it looks a little better that needs to go on that side like that. Um, so yeah, oh, nearly knocked all them down. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now. I'm going to put a thumb notch in my little tiny pocket. A very thin one at the side. Nice. And I'm just going to put a thumb notch in here. You don't have to do any of this. Um, you can just leave it as is. And then that should do that. Awesome. Right. So we're going to stick everything down. Um, so this bit your your little triangle bit just want glue on this straight edge here and glue it up like that so we have that and then on this one just top and bottom like so bring that round and stick it down oh, a bit too much glue there Okay, and then this is a large pocket. Um, I don't know if I need to. No, I'm not going to stick that bit down. So just the one side. I mean, you can stick it down if you want, but I'm not going to um, be able to fit more in that way. Uh, so I'm just going to stick, put glue down this side and stick that on there like that to create your large pocket like that awesome so everything is stuck down and it looks fantastic i love it um right what i'm going to do now is um i'm going to put you on pause just while i 
ink round um, my folio. Um, I don't think you need to watch that, do you? No, I'll be, I won't be a second. Right, that's all done. And now my favourite bit is to decorate. Um, so before I decorate, I need to do my closure. So what I'm going to do with my closure is, I mean, you could create a, a tab somewhere and put a little tab on, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put a hole straight into my my top flap get the right hole so like this okay and then i'm going to get um a, like a bronzy colored eyelet i'm gonna put that in there um and then i'm going to so there we go there is my closure bit and i'm using this gorgeous um ribbon the gold ribbon like this so let me just check to see if it will actually yeah nice so i'm gonna put this through there and pull it oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry just really knocked you there didn't i oh i think i've done it a little bit too ha oh i've just ripped it haven't i <sighs> yeah i've just ripped it Mm, how can I fix that? I know, I know. Let me just take this out. And, yeah. I didn't really want to do that. I've, I've put it up too high. So, the way I'm going to fix it is... Where have I put them? Where have I put it? Where have I put it? I'm sorry if I knock you again. Oh, where are you? Oh. Here, I've got this. <laughs> oh, I've got some little tiny lace. So, yeah, I'm going to put that across there. Because um, I don't want it ripping anymore, really, do I? That wouldn't be too good, would it? No, not at all. Let me just move that out of the way. Get the glue down to the nozzle. Right, let's put this bit of lace on. Hey, what am I like? Like that, I think. Just using it. Dry wet wipe. There we go. That has fixed it. Awesome. Right, let's cut that there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. <laughs> Problem fixed. So, I've still got my norms. Um, but I've also got these gorgeous leaves as well. I think I am going to put a norm on, but I'm going to use these leaves. Oh, there's pumpkins and leaves on this one as well, isn't there? Right, I'm going to use this little fella. Oh, it's not coming off the plastic. There we go, little fella. Right, move you. So, I'm just going to put him off to the side. So, because when I put um, a tag in, oh, do you know what? I'm thinking, oh, he would look amazing on there, wouldn't he? I'm going to put him there and I'm going to put something flat on here because it, there's a pocket. So I'm just going to put him on there for now. And I'm going to get my gorgeous leaves. Ooh, 
very pretty let's just see what we've got in this basket you know i've got all these flowers out and i've not even used them it's because they're two dimensional and i didn't get any of the flowers did i i mean i've got a white one there i could put this white one on this is one of the uh, dawn's um little handmade flowers Hello, blue one don't want blue thank you um i could put one of these on what's this I'm just looking in a box in front of me to see what it is I've got. Oh, there you are. These, um, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll just ink that up a little. A lot. Okay, I'm going to use that flower. Um, I need to use butterfly. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to use that one. Um, I've got these big leaves, but I'm using them on my soil. Oh, they're flat. I wonder. No. Okay. Okay. I want to use the the flowers, uh, the leaves. Sorry. Right. I'm going to move my basket. Um, because getting in the wee uh all right let's have a look and these just beautiful they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i can't remember who i got them off so i got the leaves and the norms um so if i got them off you and you're watching i'm sorry i just i, I can't remember um just let me know because <laughs> i would love to know um mm, i do like this one nope wrong glue okay like that and then i'm going to put the flower there I want one more leaf. Hmm. How about this one? Yes, that one. There we go. Just there, like that. And it's it is quite flat. Right, that's dry now. Um okay so i'm gonna put the flower on there and um, we've got these acorns so oh. <laughs> didn't even notice oh, little squirrels would be lovely on here wouldn't they um ain't got any okay like that. That. And one more. Just a little bitty one. Do you know what? I'm going to put a leaf on this pocket here and a little itty bitty acorn. of glue because we need it to stick don't we i'm gonna hold that for a moment okay oh that's gorgeous it needs another leaf at the bottom though yeah it does one of these ones 
a lovely shape leaf, isn't it? Very pretty. Oh, that's better. Yeah, just needed to be balanced out, I think. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Oh, shall we put this gnome on? It's not a gnome, is it? It's a gonk. <laughs> it's a gonk, Claire. Get off. I stuck it to the plaster. Okay. Oh, do you know what? Before we stick the gonk on, I want some more lace. Just at the bottom, I think. Yeah. You stay there, Mr. Gonk. Come on. Are you coming out? It's got loads of stringy bits on it. There we are. And Mr. Gonk will look like he's standing on top of the lace. That there's my dry there is my dry wet wipe. There we go. Let me find my scissors. There they are. Hey, dear me. My desk is an absolute mess. But I've had fun. <laughs> so, yeah, who cares if it's a mess? Right, so. I want to bring him in because I don't particularly want to cut any off. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Absolutely love it. Um, oh, don't you fall. I've got this. Hello Autumn. I'm going to stick that on. quite like that. And this is just fussy cut from uh, the papers. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Where's my... My little notebook. Oh, she fits in there quite nicely, doesn't she? Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. I think this one is my favourite. Um, right, let's put this ribbon. You move up there. Give me my ribbon. Let's put this gold ribbon back on, shall we? Don't. Don't pull it so tight, okay? <laughs> do you ever do that? Do you ever tell yourself off? <laughs> right, okay. I might put a little bit of glue. Just pull it a little. There we go. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there. And then that will not come off once the glue has stuck on there. Okay, let's just need a clip or something because it's it's coming out. Um, I haven't got a clip. No, I haven't. I'm just going to hold it for a minute. Um, oh, I haven't used the butterfly, have I? Hmm, maybe I can. Hmm, do you think? Put that there? No, no, doesn't look right. Um, hmm, where can I put this butterfly? There's too much on there. Uh, I don't actually know where to put it. Right, let me just be very careful. Open that up. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
maybe uh, because I have got um, tags and um, what do you call it to go in? I'll put them under my mat. My messed up. So I've got a bookmark. I've got a tag. And I've got like a, a skinny journaling card. Um, yeah. Look at the baby bunnies. Gorgeous little bunnies. Um, I just need to cut these out. Um, where's that butterfly gone? There it is. Oh, that would look nice on there, wouldn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I like it on there. Hmm. Shall I do these on camera as well? Because the other ones I've not done on camera. Um, I haven't even showed you, have I? Where are we? So this is the one that I messed up on. Um, but it turned out okay in the end. Um, so yeah, I've done um, little journaling cards and some tags. That's beautiful, isn't it? I love that. Um, to go on the inside and this is for a Christmas present so it will be filled with some more goodies as much as I can cram in <laughs> um, so let me just see how long I've been on camera for Ooh, half an hour um, should we just do this one yeah we'll just do this one so I need I need out the way need to cut I haven't stuck this on here very straight at all but I can straighten it up there we go. No, no dog's barking I don't know what she's barking at right okay oh no Right, um, I don't think I need to back it because uh, I think it's, um, you can journal on that, can't you? Um, and this is the tag, yeah, this is the tag one. So this one goes in the front. Um, and I think I'm going to just stick this down like so. And I brought some words in. Ooh. I need to round the corners so I'm using my middle one there we go and I need to make it into a tag shape so that and that okay so let me just quickly put my hole in I'm just going to see what that dog's back in there There'll be a cat in the garden. Guarantee it. Right, I'm going to get another one of those um, bronzy coloured eyelets. I'll get this done first. Um, and then we'll find a word. <sighs> oh, I threw that down, didn't I? Um, so I've got these words and these are our Dawn's words. Oh, I've got BU. I like that one. I'm going to put that one down. So, oh, my daughter's come out of her room. Let's see what she's barking at. Right, and then put that there. And I have got some gorgeous, gorgeous green eyelash trim. Um, I mean, there's not a lot of green on there. There's a little bit of green there. Uh, there's some green on here, so why not? Let me cut a bit off. I can use that for something else. <laughs> I can use that for something else. Uh, do this. And I think with the bookmark, I might put a channel on it. And I might not. I don't know. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, there is our tag. I know it covers all that up, but 
when you take it off, you'll see that it's uh, it's decorated like that. So it's a surprise. Surprise! <laughs> so, don't get in there. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? Maybe I should have put it a little bit lower down. But, there we go. There is my I think that's going to have to have some dingly dangles on to make it a little bit heavier um, some beads or something I think I've got some glass beads somewhere um, but I will do that when it's ready for me uh, to send out okay so there we go absolutely thoroughly enjoyed making that um, so these are the measurements I'll, I'll hold it there for you I hope it hasn't gone blurry um, so there we go so it is a folio I've noticed that I've got a pocket on the back there but I haven't drew a diagram or anything so I'm going to have to have a look at that it looks confusing <laughs> But there we go. But like I said, um, if you just pop over uh, to Sandy's channel, she will be linked below um, and see how she does hers. Um, yeah, she's more professional than I am. <laughs> but if you don't start on something, you're never going to learn how to do anything, are you? Um, but yeah, I've, I've so enjoyed making these. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> I'm going to bring these back in so these are um my autumn folios um so yeah absolutely enjoyed it had so much fun making them um especially this one <laughs> um so i'm gonna let you go uh get on with the rest of your day if you enjoyed watching uh please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think and if you are not already a subscriber please consider subscribing and i will see you in another video very soon bye bye for now